my god. This is for mums that never sleep. Tasty. How you do it? Mama, you came in raw. Blah. Very smuggle. My bag's bag. Only for your number. Hi, what's up? It's me, Jess, and today we are going to be doing a full face of makeup um, using the new products that I got from Super Drug. And if you haven't seen it yet, go look in my last video. And yeah, we're going to be putting all of those products all into my face today. So let's just get straight into it. So I've gone for a panda headband today so I can get all of the little flyaways out of my hair. Um, yeah, so the first product that we are going to be putting on because I have got nothing on my face except from a moisturiser that I cannot remember the name of right now. So that's helpful. <laughs> so yeah, the first thing that we are going to be doing is priming my face. We are going to be using the colour corrector from Revolution. And yeah, from my last video, I saw that this was green and I was like, oh my god, like it's green. And yeah, I'm just going to put that onto my face. Oh my god. It's giving me Fiona vibes. But obviously this colour is going to like automatically correct all the red blotches I have on my face. It's quite thick. It's very creamy. Let's put a little bit more on. It feels like a really nice formula. But it's not very spreadable. It's so thick. It's hard to spread. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I mean, you want it to be quite thick to go under your makeup and do the job that it needs to but it just feels really really thick okay okay i believe i'm all covered now and it's giving me a nice kind of finish so far really brought out this blue part in my nose i don't know if you can see apparently that's like a birth thing so yeah, <laughs> we are going to move on now to my eyebrows. And this is a really exciting product because I have never used anything like this before. So this is generally all brand new to me. We're going to be using the Tattoo Brow Lift Stick. So it just looks like this. And it's really cool. It's really chunky, so I don't know if it will actually work, but we will have a go. And you're meant to use this little bristle thing to pull all your eyebrows out and make it look more natural. So let's get started. I'm going to be using a smaller mirror to do this. I'm just going to use my Revolution palette. Yeah, so I'm taking, taking it out. Oh, I'm not going to do it too much because they always break when you pull it out too much. So... I've never tested this before, so it might go completely wrong, so just bear with me. Oh my gosh. I'm just hoping I got the right shade, to be honest. Oh my god. It's insanely thick. It just feels like a crayon. Like, I mean, look at, look at that. It's giving me like a really bulgy tail. We'll, we'll go with it, see how it works out. Okay, I just want to make sure I have enough product and then you use this bit and then like comb it out. It's definitely doing something. But I don't know. I mean, it's very, it's very hard to move around. It literally feels like a crayon. I'm going to try and see if I can fix this mess. I'm, I'm just going to stamp it on because when I'm dragging it, not much product's coming out, like, at all. Can you see that? Like, it's made a complete mess of my brow. 
looks quite bushy I'm gonna go with it I'm gonna see what it looks like when I, the other one is done and I'll be back if you can see yeah I've tried doing it but because this is just too thick it just pulls it out and looks like a crayon line and that's really just not what you want and it doesn't like really have product coming off of it it's I don't know, it's not really a winner in my book. Like, they definitely need to make that smaller. Like, that massive stick is just not needed whatsoever. Like, and I understand, like, you've got the bristles to, like, move it out and stuff, but it's really hard to move out because it really does stick. That is generally something that I can say with this product. It does stick, but nothing really comes off of it. You have to really stab it in to get anything to really work so that's a real shame to be honest i was really looking forward to this product so what well, i'm just gonna clean up the access with a wipe quick because this is just it's nasty okay i've wiped away the access and now we're just gonna move on to the next one here my studio london foundation and i have this in the shade 16 uh, I have never used this before and I really like how it's got that little drop kind of thing. So yeah, I'm gonna see how that all goes. Wet my foundation brush. I'm gonna put this on the this part of my hand, the palm, the palm of my hand, because apparently it doesn't have any pores, so it just goes in. So it just looks like that. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. It's really, really uh, yellowy. It's very thick. Oh, I'm just getting real, real yellow vibes. Okay. Okay, I think it's just one of those ones that need to have some time. And then you just see how it works afterwards. It's definitely very glowy. not to get it in my eyebrows. Oh. Oops. I did the worst thing ever. Yeah, but um mm, it's very yellow. And this is like one of the most paler shades. It's very yellow. Oh my god. Oh my god. I would probably most have to definitely go over this. Okay, so the finish has kind of come out like this. It's very glowy. <clears throat> it doesn't feel very matte. But it looks just the tiniest bit yellow. Can you... Can you see that? Like, it just looks the tiniest bit yellow. I mean, I look in like a Simpson a little bit. But I'm thinking, when you have powder and stuff, it will be more to your shade. But I don't know if that's like the green that made that come out like that. But it's made me look really, really clear. Like, I'm very, very blurred out. My bags are very much covered and that is a very sore spot for me. So, you know, seeing this is very glowy. Like, I mean, you can see the shine, it's lovely. But I'm not sure if I need to make sure that I'm wearing a different primer underneath. Maybe something that's not green. 
and try it again. But right now, I'm loving the coverage of this. But yeah, it's just the yellow twinge. The twinge is it's not good. Now we're going to move on to my, my bags. My bags, bags. And yeah, so I'm opening this. It's the Studio Flawless. And it just matches that uh, foundation. And I've got it in the shade number nine. And I'm just going to do dots this time. Let's take it around my nose. Even though that foundation, it got all of my red and the um, the um, primer. The primer, I really think it did do a really good job of covering up all of that redness. And I'm very, very impressed with that. And then I'm just going to take this sponge and dab that in. Even though they are pretty much... Oh wow, okay, that's actually looking looking all right, you know. My one thing with um, concealers is that they crease under my eye or they take my makeup off under it. So that's a sore spot. But I'm loving this. I feel really just blurred, blur. Hopefully it just doesn't crease under my eye, but it's doing a really good job. Like that foundation and that primer all together, I'm really liking it. Like it's it's kind of settling into my face. I think it's like one of those ones you just gotta let it cook. It's nice, it's nice, I like it. Um I like to see that. Gone. It's like my redness, and you saw how red I was before. My God. So yeah, this this is good. It's good. It's aces. It's aces, man. I'm going to take my banana powder, and it's baking powder. And I have never used a baking powder before, like whatsoever. I've used compact powders, like hardly pressed ones, but I've never actually. Oh my god, I don't even know if that's too much that I've got out or if I'm doing the wrong thing. But I'm got no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna take my sponge and I'm gonna dab that under my eye. Just so I'm Ooh! Oh look at that! It got rid of this line and oh my god! Oh my god, this is for mums that never sleep. This is, this is the one. This is the one and only. <laughs> I am so impressed by this. It's gonna go onto my lids as well. Oh, did a bit much. Fixing this probably should fix the dryness. Oh my god, I'm really proud. My guys, look at that change. It's really, really good. I good. Is my fix missed? <clears throat> It smells so nice. It smells like cucumber. Even though I don't like cucumber. <laughs> you ever get that where you don't like the food but you can smell it? Like I don't like curry and yeah I love the smell of curry and I love the smell of coffee but I can't drink coffee. <laughs> so it's such a strange, strange one. Next I'm going to be using my Elica Beauty. This is not actually a brand new product. This is just something that I have because I actually didn't get a blush or a bronzer um, because I literally forgot that was literally the only reason why. <laughs> now I'm going to be putting these drops on and you only need like a little bit and I'm going for a glowy kind of effect. Mm. 
I'm only smiling because it gets it out better. It looks a lot better when you smile. Get those cheeks gum. It's such a nice shimmery shade. a little bit less on this cheek than I had on this cheek because this is looking very very pink on this side I'm going to just bring it up just like the tiniest bit I believe this side has just brought down some of my powder or concealer from my lid and it's made my bag obvious on one side and not on the other which I'm guessing wet products isn't going to work very well with this type of foundation I'm just going to do like a tiny little bit more on that side just to make it a little bit more even literally just that tiny little french dot <laughs> just bring out that colour a bit more I'm just taking it up to my bridge of my nose. I'm going to take my Ciate bronzer on this kind of a brush. And just paint it on. And then I just go around the frame of my face to sculpt it out a little bit. And then just kind of roll it around so it really, really mixes in. Because the last thing you want is a frame on your face. And it's giving me this lovely, lovely finish. I'm really, really loving that. I'm going to take it on this fan brush. And it just blends so well. I'm just taking this all onto my nose. And then a little bit on the bottom of my lip. And then on my cupid's bow. And a tiny bit onto my forehead. And drag that down my T section. And on my brow bones. A little bit more. There we go. It's looking good. It's looking good. How you do it? Revolution chilled palette. And these are the colours we are going to be working with. So I'm definitely going to go for something green. <laughs> and I haven't done any really dramatic looks yet onto my channel, so I'm really excited to give it a go. I'm going to take this kind of fluffy brush and I'm going to find I'm gonna go for leaf oh okay there's a lot of fallout coming out of this palette Let's see then I think I'm gonna 
Hvad er det godt? Nå, nu skal du bare lave til dig. Outer corners of my eye. Just pop that down. Hello? I'm just going to wipe the excess and then I'm going to try and pull that in. It's got like a green twinge to my eye. Yeah, so it's looking good. And then I'm just going to do the same the other side and pull that in towards my nose bone. Nose bone, nose bridge, whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to bring that up to my brow bone. Make it like a very light shade change. It's nice. Nice so far. Who's next? What color do you use next? I'm going to be using... Plant this very very dark teal color. I'm gonna place that. Oh, that's dark. That's very very dark. Okay. 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 It's okay. We got. That's it. 